This is a book for, for me. Just for you. Dude. Okay. This is your number. Right? That's great. Yeah, so here you go. Oh, you guys are going to put me on the spot here, huh? Man. Holy smokes. Look at me. I was so small. God. How old were you then? That was, I was like 14, 14, 15. That was when I just started. So this one was when we won in Mexico, I believe, with the U15s, and the other one was U15 National Championship. So not even, this is pre-academy. I thought I was U16 here. Little did I know I look older for my age. No, I'm 14 here, and I just finished my first year with the academy. I think Jesus played with me on this team as well, and uh, we won not the Academy National Championships, but the pre-Academy National Championships was still a pretty big deal at the time. And uh, yeah, that was with Coach, Coach Jesse. That's crazy. Wow. You guys are going to bring me back down memory lane here. Okay. Well, this I can clearly see is our, our super group uh, championship win, which was insane. Had a stacked team there and we won uh, two to one. Um, Arturo scored a banger. Uh, I believe I scored in the final also, and we beat Monterey. Uh, sorry, Jonah, Jonathan Gonzalez. He plays at Minnesota now. He was on the other team. He's a national team player. Mine's sorry. Um, next, we got open. Oh my gosh! Look at me and Walkie. Little Zimzi. Zimzi looks so young there too. Wow, that was like 11 days after I signed. And I got to celebrate an Open Cup victory, which was pretty cool. And then, oh, look at Lee. <laughs> what a guy. So this was um, the first, our first home game of 2017. And I started, I believe I was 17. I was playing winger. And it's funny because Lee and I are actually friends now. And uh, I was tra training with him last off season and stuff. Um, really good guy, down to earth. And obviously he's from Dallas as well. So that's cool to like, I didn't really know him in that picture. And now I know him. So that's, that's funny. Look at this picture. Look at the boys. Look at Brandon down there. This was U20 national team before the World Cup. This was a camp in Florida. Um, and so that was like one of, I was still on the border between like making the uh, qualifiers or not. And um, so I kind of had to play really well and I had a really good camp. And um, from then on out, I was kind of a mainstay with that 20s group with Tab. And this was like one or two camps leading up to the U20 qualifiers, which I assume you have next. And there they are. Back to back. So the one on the left with Mendez is uh, a really cool moment. I believe that was his goal versus Mexico or Costa Rica. I'm not sure. Either the semifinals or finals. Uh, what a baller he is. And that was in qualifiers. And then next to it was our goal after uh, against France in the round of 16 in the World Cup. And yeah, there's not, I mean, in the world of football, there's really nothing better than representing your country, and obviously to bring a championship here would rival that, of course, but when you put on the crest, it's, it's just a really special and cool moment, so to do that at a World Cup and captain them and, you know, just perform well also is just is a really cool moment, one of my favorites in my career. You guys have got a lot of pictures here, huh? Got a lot of history, huh? Okay, so then... <laughs> All-Star Game was after that. It's like a timeline here, huh? All-Star Game 2019. Um, commissioner's pick. Uh, thanks, Don. Appreciate you. Uh, that was a really fun moment, um, just to be around a bunch of humble, cool guys that I grew up watching and looked up to, Rooney, Schweinsteiger, Zlatan, and you know, you never know how you're gonna fit in as a young kid there. I was only 19, so. Um, Wow, I was only 19, that's crazy. 23 now. <laughs> um, but they are so cool, so down to earth, and really, for Schweinsteiger at least, didn't act like he had won the World Cup. Um, 
Okay, here, my national team debut against Uruguay. Um, that was a really cool moment. That was like a month after that. Um, man, number 24, I came on left wing with like 10 minutes left, I want to say, and just tried to wreak havoc and run around and do the best I could. But um, that was a really cool moment, like I mentioned earlier with youth national team, but senior team's even a different level. And hopefully we'll get to um, put on that jersey more in the future. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I always love playing for my country. And then after my surgeries, man, I, I had a, a groin surgery. And this picture right here is one of my all time favorites. Um, I struggled really hard with with my groin surgery and just getting back was it was tough and a lot of setbacks and this was about five months later um, and our home opener uh, against Philly and I I didn't start because I missed a lot of preseason still coming back from that injury and picking up fitness and I, I worked my butt off to get back for this game and came on as a sub and scored and let a lot of emotions out uh, as you can tell in the yell right there but that was that was a really cool moment and then meeting Dirk that was really cool um, one of my idols and then you see me in the background too I'm doing some sort of interview there but yeah that that was crazy just growing up in Dallas being a, a Mavs fan and getting to meet literally the best player in franchise history for a, a team I grew up loving. It's, it was surreal and crazy. I mean, Tim Howard, man, what a legend. That was crazy. He, what, honestly, what a nice guy he is. Like, I grew up, like, idolizing him, obviously, one of the, one of, if not the, most prolific, greatest goalkeepers in U.S. history, and um, whenever we played them in Colorado, he talked to me after the game for a good two, three minutes, and just only nice things to say. And that was a really special moment, and yeah, that that one touched my heart right there. And sometimes I look back on um, this picture, and there's another one of me dapping him up, and that uh, that was really special. That was cool. This one uh, was last year. Um, back, back healthy, back playing, felt good. Even, even though I'm faced the other way, you can still see a smile on my face. Uh, 19 on my back, just re represent BR19. I actually went out today and uh, saw Jake play in the, um, the tournament out here, so that, that was a cool moment. Um, I mean, he's bigger than I am now, which is, which is crazy because he is now 15 and when I signed I was 16 and so he would have been seven six or seven at the time and now he's literally almost the age I was when I signed which is wild and now I got me and Polchi over here at the Rangers game man I'm happy to have him on the team I love Paul with my mustache that's water in the in the cup right there we're in season so don't don't be thinking anything otherwise and then my first time wearing the captain's armband. That was a special moment. Still see the mustache there. Yeah, it's where the armband is like, it's just so special. I've been here a long time and I love this club and to be the guy that represents the rest of the team in a way that I, I'd like to, it's, it's really cool. Especially, you know, with, with guys that I love in the locker room, it, it makes it even better. And we have such a good locker room and to lead those guys is really fun. Um, next one was, I believe we played Philly at home and I got man of the match, which was cool. And we won. Bro hug with Nico. Gosh, what a, what a good coach he is too. And then me and Paul again, the boys. These are the boys right here. These, these right here. We got Edwin on one side and Paul on the other. That makes the golfing trio. It's just so fun, man. We, we, we have a lot of fun on the field and off the field. And those guys are those guys are special. So got a couple more empty pages that I need to put and fill in this year and the following years, and hopefully keep keep more pages coming because this was really fun. So.
thank you for this. This was this was really cool. So what's in your book when we come back in five years? Man. Well, to think that this was only eight years ago. Hopefully I'm not bald by the time it's five years because I look like a child there, so. Um, trophies to start this book and I want I want to see myself holding double trophies to end the book, so. Uh, in five years, uh, a lot more memories, a lot more smiles. Obviously, some, some heartache and heartbreak will be in there too, but um, you gotta let the good moments outshine the bad, and uh, hopefully we have some trophies in here.